Oh yeah. All right, the Swiss STP. Well, this uh, firearm is just amazing. You guys know that I'm a fan of the 75, and uh, I tell you what, this gun is definitely a tremendous nod to the 75 variant. Um, it is a very high quality Swiss made uh, weapon that's being imported and marketed by Chris USA. Uh, as you know, Chris is the same company that's producing the, uh, the Super V, uh, which is a very revolutionary and uh, awesome gun that we're also gonna be taking out in a future video to shoot. Um, it is an alloy frame, black anodized uh, pistol. I mean, just beautiful setup. Excellent double action, which we're gonna test out here in a second. Uh, single action, a beautiful crisp single action on this gun. Uh, the magazines hold 15 shots. Um, pretty much your standard fare for a 75 variant, if it's something you're familiar with. The uh, slide actually rides within the frame. So very rigid construction, which allows for very rigid uh, function. There's not a lot of muzzle flip. You can really point the gun and just keep it on target really easy. Um, some of the things we're gonna be integrating into our pistol videos moving forward is actually integrating like uh, some of the steel challenge type stuff, um, a little bit of practical shooting type stuff. So kind of your IPSC, uh, really not so much IDPA. We're gonna be integrating a little bit of three gun type stuff into the videos. Um, just for some of you guys that are into competition or uh, you know, like to see you know, practical use of the gun, uh, we probably won't be shooting many groups per se, but that's just to give you guys an idea of the, the type of stuff we like to do. Uh, doesn't have a safety, it's a decock only. Uh, arrangement, which is pretty typical fare. Uh, if you're familiar with the 75, you're instantly familiar with this gun. Uh, the gun actually ships with three different sets of back straps. Um, I've got the large one in it because it fits uh, both mine and Chad's hand a lot better. Uh, we're going to test out the double action. Uh, that first initial little run was a lot of fun. So I'm going to drop the hammer and we're just going to try the double action. I'm gonna draw the gun, shoot with double action. So, I mean, when drawing the gun, okay, and getting your first shot on target, the double action is very, very smooth. It reminds me of like a really smooth revolver trigger. I'm drawing from some Bravo concealment Kydex. Um, we got the uh, Dark Earth Kydex holster and we got Kydex mag pouches um, that we're running today. So that's not bad. Um, that double action is pretty decent. The magazines uh, load actually quite easily. Uh, if you're used to lo loading like a Beretta 92, CZ 75, Browning High Power, pretty much the same manner for loading the magazines. Push down and in, pretty typical fare there. I don't think there's too much going on. All right, chamber's already hot on this thing. Gonna go ahead and top off my mag, holster the gun. The uh, hammer's down. All right, what I've got is one mag in the holster, uh, in the gun in the holster, and then I got a mag in the holder here. And I've got some Federal Hydra Shock set up on that barrel out there. I'm gonna shoot two mags, run up, reload off the barrel, and I'm gonna pop our sodas back there with some hollow points. Two reasons I wanna do that. One is because hollow points are awesome and they make things explode and that's what we like. And two, I want to see how well it's going to feed hollow points. So here we go. Ah, now those uh, hydro shocks might have a slightly different point of aim than the ball ammo. That or I was pulling them, but uh, anyway, that thing definitely slings them out of there. It's a great gun, I love it. All right, I'm gonna draw the gun. We're gonna shoot the two poppers here, and then we're gonna move on to our hostage uh, situation using the Sphinx here. All right, that's right on the money. A little low, but right on the money. All right. Last time we kind of botched our uh, hostage situation. If you remember from the uh, CZ P07 video we did, um, 
I definitely killed our hostage a couple of times. We got our hostage in the front and then our hostage taker in the back. See if we can take them out with the Sphinx uh, STP. Ma'am, I'm here to help. Tell you what, I'm gonna draw the gun and see if I can do it double action from a holster. Ready? Not bad, she ain't dead yet. I'm feeling brave, let's go for a headshot. Oh yeah, puts them right in there. If you do your part, I mean, this pistol definitely slings them in there. Um, I tell you what, let's try a little bit at 50 and 100 yards uh, with this pistol. I think we can definitely sling them in there. Let's give it a try. All right, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with the Sphinx STP here. Um, Eric was testing more of the combat accuracy, the handgun. What I'm gonna do is uh, do a little bit more slow fire just to show the accuracy of this gun. And we've got some new 10 inch plates from shootsteel.com. Got five of them set up out here about 20 yards away. Uh, we've got some poppers out here, some little Colt auto resetting targets. So these are kind of small targets to hit. I may take a couple shots on the gopher, and then I'm going to go for that soda bottle out there that Eric missed earlier. So let's we'll see if we can take care of business. I'm going to start with the 10-inch uh, plates over here. Thing is a joy to shoot. Beautiful little gun. Let's try a gopher. Oh, a little bit to the right. A little to the left. All right, I'm gonna get that little booger. Gopher's only about four inches wide, so definitely a challenge to hit. There we go. All right, let's go for our soda. Oh yeah, this thing is a lot more refined than that CZ-75. Basically a step up in quality, big step. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this thing today. All right, well, that was a lot of fun with the uh, STP up close here. I'm going to try some longer range shots at 50 yards on a, a full-size D28 and then a 22-inch round that's at 100 yards. And uh, basically just to show that this pistol can reach out there if need be and just to show that you can hit those kind of targets. I know every now and again we try this out and we don't really have the best of luck with it, but we've got our holdovers today. So let me show you how it's done. All right, starting out with 50 yards. Just a little low. There we go. All right, let's try that uh, target at 100 yards, 22 inch round. Definitely sling them in there if you do your part. Not happy with those hits on that 50 yarder. Give it one more try. Definitely sling them in there if you do your part. Let's move on to the uh, roundabout. I think you guys are gonna like this. All right, part of our video today, we wanna shoot a little bit of steel challenge uh, in a course called a roundabout. Basically, you shoot all five targets in any order you want as long as the middle plate is the last plate to be shot. We're gonna try it with the Sphinx STP, see how well it fares. Let's just see how it goes. Shoot ready.
Ready. Stand by. Oh yeah, five for five. Four, two, eight. Four, two, eight, not bad. I mean, that's less than one shot per perp. I mean, in a defensive situation, that would certainly uh, do the trick. Yes, sir. All right. Shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. Ooh, 474. 474? Mm -hmm. That's not shabby. You know, those 12-inch uh, rounds are actually pretty tough to hit. Um, earlier, we were doing this uh, last week with a couple of quarter-size D28s, and, you know, those uh, targets kind of give you a little bit more leeway, but these little 12-inch rounds, uh, they don't lie. If you're pulling on the trigger or you're not controlling the gun properly, you are certainly going to miss quite easily. Uh, one more try, and I'm going to let Chad have a go. Uh, this little S STP is shooting wonderful today. I'm so happy with it. Um, one more run, and then it's Chad's turn. Shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. Ah, just that one. I barely nicked him. 428. 428? Not bad. Shooter ready? Ready. Stand by. Four eight six. Not too Good shabby. work. Not bad. Shooter ready? Ready. Stand by. Four point six. Not too bad. Not bad at all. Shooter ready? Ready. Stand by. Good shooting. Four point two two. That's about on par with my fastest time. It's tough. It's tough, y'all. If y'all want to set something like this up in your backyard, get a shoot steel, get five of these 12 inch rounds, and uh, go to town. It's a lot of fun. If you can find a steel challenge match in your area, um, definitely go out and give it a whirl. There's seven different setups in addition to this one um, that they run. And uh, just find a local club in your area that may uh, run them and uh, have some fun with it. Oh yeah, thing of beauty right there. Well guys, we really appreciate you watching our video today. Uh, we've been putting a lot of efforts into our productions. Uh, we hope it shows. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of the, uh, you know, more competition inspired elements of the videos. Um, this Swiss Sphinx is just a beautiful firearm. I'm so glad that I got to shoot it today. Um, I love 75s. So this is just really a just improved version of the 75 and I'm so proud to see it out on the market. Um, you know, just the, the perfect blend of, you know, the polymer lower with the uh, aluminum frame. And man, this thing is just a sweet piece. Um, you know, man, I just can't say enough good things about it. Be sure to check us out on um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, all the social media outlets if you want to see behind the scenes photos, exclusive videos. We also have a members only section of our new website uh, that has tons of exclusive content that you can access. Um, be sure to check that out. We appreciate you watching today and uh, have a good one.